the Moths of Chattanooga flew to the shining light of Troy for a basketball contest Tuesday night. Troy got hot early, jumping out to a 23-9 lead thanks to some solid shooting and plenty of missed shots by Chattanooga. Troy would end the first half shooting 50% from three and held a 39-27 lead. The second half, however, told a different story. While Troy held their lead for the majority of the second half, Chattanooga would hang around as the defense tired and the offense shot just 35% from the free throw line. Chattanooga would take the lead with just under three minutes and would not relinquish it. Troy would lose 74-68. Second half, we came out complacent and uh, just kind of whittled away. And you could see our guys just getting tighter and tighter. We made some very careless turnovers. You know, it just got harder and harder for us to make baskets. And, uh, you know, we're missing free throws down the stretch. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of calls. Uh, we got in foul trouble early. Uh, both teams in the Barneys, and we, just, we didn't capitalize on free throws. Like, we missed a lot of one-on-ones. Kind of decided the game. Despite some missed points at the free throw line, Zay Williams led the Trojans with a career-high 18 points. Darren Adams scored 13, including going 4 for 7 from behind the arc. Williams also recorded 8 total rebounds, and Ty Gordon had 8 assists. Despite the good night offensively, Coach Cross knows the key to closing out close games is defense. Gave the game to UAB up five with two minutes to go. And so now, you know, when Chattanooga was making a run, it's like, oh, no, here we go again. And so it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, uh, you know, we just got to get over the hump and get it done. And the bottom line is the only way we can do it is defensively, and we got to communicate and be great. Yes, yes we, we, we just can't, we can't do that. We can't give up like 40, 50 points in the second half if we plan on winning games. Next up, the Trojans will go on the road to Indiana to face off against the Hoosiers this Saturday. Stuart Bradley, Troy, Trojan Vision Sports.